Around half the world's population now own a smartphone. But what actually is a smartphone? And what are its consequences for humanity? To answer those questions, 11 researchers spent 16 months each in field sites all across the world. In the village, we don't have banks. I go to mobile money, they deposit on my account, and then I send. No es necesario salir de casa para para salir adelante. Tenemos un celular. What makes the smartphone smart is its transformation by users: downloading apps, changing settings, adding content, and deciding how to deploy it. And more than any device in history, the smartphone can be crafted to take on the personality of its user. If the smartphone is created by its users, we as anthropologists needed to be present among them to discover what this device has become. We discovered many key smartphone properties, such as visual conversation and perpetual opportunism. And the pandemic exposed the fine line between care and surveillance. Instead of viewing the smartphone as just a device which we use, it should be seen as a place within which we live, a kind of transportal home. You may have heard of the term death of distance, where the person you're speaking to could be anywhere. But the smartphone also creates a death of proximity, where the person sitting next to you is ignoring you because they've returned to their transportal home. When teaching smartphones to older people, I found that they were two taps away from frustration and two taps away from empowerment. Cuando uno ha sido un profesional por mucho tiempo, no le gusta parecer eh... <laughs> que no entiende la cómo funciona, qué es un byte, qué es esto. Era algo empezar de cero. ¿eh? But we also found that once they became proficient, the smartphone could help older people re-engage with activities of their youth. Smartphones may also be reversing the historical shift from extended to nuclear families and changing into generational relations. For a new middle class in Cameroon, the smartphone is the political sphere. While in El Quds in Chile, it is used to express religious faith. With respect to health, the main impact of the smartphone was not through specialist health apps. Rather, I showed that the way people are applying WhatsApp to health in Sao Paulo was something that everyone could learn from. On May the 6th, 2021, we launched our comparative book, The Global Smartphone, as a free download from UCL Press. We also launch Aging with Smartphones in Urban Italy, I hope my book will convey the richness of contemporary Milan and its communities that come from all over the world. You can also read Aging with Smartphones in Ireland. This is a book about how some people got younger. And if you want to know how that's possible, read our book. On the 10th of May, we launch our free university course about the anthropology of smartphones on the FutureLearn platform.